Welcome back, Magma Munchers. It's your favorite marketable plushy, Magma. Here's an efficient speedrun guide you can follow to get the most amount of easter eggs in the least amount of time. When you spawn into Samaria, destroy any trees around you to get the tree egg. Then head to any merchant NPC and sell an item to get the galleon egg. After that, then head to this mountain with the Colosseum on top of it. Once you're here, just break the entrance and get the drippiest egg ever, the idol egg. Man, this egg goes so hard, what the hell? Now quickly go over the greenery areas of Samaria to try find the strawberry egg. It's red, so it's very hard to miss. Also, make sure you open any chests you see to try get treasure and sea charts. The strawberry egg can spawn wherever fruit spawn, so you can find it pretty much anywhere. Don't worry if you don't find it here, you'll probably find it later. I did manage to find it here, so make sure to check if it's also here for you. If you have any charts for Samaria, then quickly do them. I tried doing one, but I gave up quite quickly. Go to Draco's Arch. I don't have it explored yet, but it's this island on the map. Now, whenever you're sailing, make sure you're doing these five things. Fishing for the sunken egg. Stopping at diving points for the pearl egg. Stopping at deep diving points for the angler egg. Sinking ships to get the sea shard egg. And stopping at nearby islands to complete any treasure charts to get the silver egg. A huge chunk of time will be spent sailing, so use this time efficiently by looking out to do those things. Also, when fishing, use an ensnaring rod to catch fish more often to help get the sunken egg quicker. Once you're at Draco's Arch, head over to the dragon skeleton's head as this is where you'll find the dragon egg. Make sure you get any chests you see to get sea and treasure charts and since you're here you might as well get the Draco's Arch secret. Now from Draco's Arch, sail to Mount Orthus. Again, remember to do these things whenever you're sailing. I'm gonna go to this deep diving point on the map while on my way to Mount Orthus. It's deeper than 100 meters, meaning I can find the angler egg and I can also find the pearl egg. While going there, I saw these ships, so I sunk them to get the sea shard egg. You can sink any ship, it doesn't have to be just enemy ships, you can still sink grave your merchant ships if you have fame. I sunk this merchant ship and I didn't get the sea shard egg. Interestingly, this merchant was selling platinum shovels, which I couldn't buy unfortunately as I'm too low level. I didn't get the egg second try. Or third try. But I did get it fourth try. Now I made it to the diving point. Whenever you're gonna explore a diving point, make sure you drink a water breathing potion and equip any swim speed gear you have. I have 120% swimming speed, just look at how fast I go. Old diving points are just giant blocks with stuff on them, so to find the angler egg at a diving point more than 100 meters deep, just go to the edge of the block and you should easily spot it. Since it's based off an anglerfish, you can just look out for that glowing ball sack it has on its forehead or whatever it's called. At the diving point itself, you can always find the pearl egg. Just look for a small clam, that's the pearl egg, it spawns at any diving point. Make sure you're paying attention to your air by the way, I nearly drowned trying to show the pearl egg. Just look at how cute that angler egg is, it's just so cute. On the way to Orthus, I also stopped at Claw Island to complete a few charts to try get the silver egg. I didn't get it, but one of the charts led me to the Forest of Masts, which is right next to Mount Orthus, and I found the Silver Egg here. You get the Silver Egg from completing charts, so make sure you complete any charts you have for islands that are en route. Okay, once you're at Orthus, you're gonna have to scale up the side. Don't worry, it's not as bad as it initially seems. Once you're at the top, you're gonna have to then go to the middle of the island where you awaken. I recommend you put on some agility gear as it is quite the trek. When you finally arrive, you'll see what is probably the best looking egg this event, the godly egg. 
This egg is just so cool. If only there was a red variant. Comment what your favorite egg this event is. After picking it up, head north to the Bronze Sea Barrier. Just go through it and travel to the Bronze Sea. Once you load in, immediately check how old the server is. If it's old, like more than 16 hours old, then just server hop. Old servers don't generate much items, meaning you won't find any eggs. I had to stop my previous speedrun because I tried egg hunting in an old server where they just wouldn't spawn. So make sure you're in a moderately new server, just use the server browser to find one. When you're in a good server, immediately sail over to Blasted Rock. Again, remember to do these things whenever you're sailing. Also, if you have the Bronze Diver Badge, you'll now see all diving points, which is pretty useful. At Blasted Rock, head over to the center of the island, as here you'll find the Sands of Time Egg. Then head over to this jewel crafting bench and craft a random jewel to get the jewel egg. It doesn't matter what jewel you craft, so just craft anything and you'll get it. If you have a brig, then you obviously don't need to come here, you can just craft a jewel at your personal jewel crafting bench in your brig whenever you want. Then from Blasted Rock, sail to Frostmill. If you don't have the strawberry, silver, pearl or angler eggs, then just stop at any island or diving point nearby to get them. Make sure to open chests to get chars for you to complete to get the silver egg if you haven't gotten it yet. I already got these eggs, so I'm just gonna head straight to Frostmill. At Frostmill, climb up the mountainside and next to Iris you'll see the flare egg. Go pick it up. Then from Frostmill, head to the Stepstones. If you still don't have the strawberry, silver, pearl or angler eggs, then you can quickly go to any of these islands or any diving points nearby. Again, since I already got those eggs, I'm just gonna go straight to the Stepstones. Once you're at the Stepstones, climb the Stepstones and once you're at the top, look around for the Stratosphere Egg. It spawns where Sky Apples spawn. Bear in mind that Sky Apples don't only spawn on the greenery, they sometimes spawn around the top of the Stepstones, so look around. For me, the egg spawned all the way down here, so yeah, make sure you look around. If you didn't get the egg, you can join the Assassin's Syndicate at White Summit and the next time you load in, you'll be right next to the Stepstones and you don't need to waste so much time sailing here. Now from here you're gonna do a Dark Sea Expedition to get the remaining Dark Sea related eggs. Make sure you server hop to a good Bronze Sea server to do the expedition in. Make sure it is a Bronze Sea server as you'll spawn at the bottom right corner of the map right next to the Dark Sea so you can just sail in. Don't mind the fact that even though I have enough galleons to buy a brig, I still went in with a caravel. I'm just that guy. You gotta act broke to stay rich, you know what I mean? In the Dark Sea, you're gonna do these Five. things. Get a good amount of Dark Seal chests to get the Expedition Egg. Go to where a Lightning just struck to find the Ancient Lightning Egg. Find structures where Atlanteans can spawn to have a chance to find the Atlantean Egg. Find ghost ships to find the Phantom Egg. And find Siren Islands to have a chance to find the Siren Egg. So sail straight to Insanity 1 as that's where you can find Siren Islands and on the way there look out for the other things. The Atlantean Egg has a chance to spawn at structures where Atlanteans can spawn. Try to see if you can spot it before you aggro the Atlantean. The Ancient Lightning Egg just spawns wherever Red Lightning just struck, so if you see Red Lightning, just go to it and you'll see the egg just chilling. This egg is very common and you'll see it a lot in the Dark Sea. Once you're at Insanity 1, the Siren Islands can begin to spawn. Just listen out for their singing and head in its direction. You see what I mean when I say the ancient lining egg is very common? There's just three chilling here. You can also get water poisoned in the insanity one range and when I got water poisoned I actually began to shit bricks. I don't know if you didn't realize yet but I'm driving a caravel meaning I don't have a water bath to cleanse the water poisoning with. You can get rid of water poisoning by finding cover and thankfully the inside of the Siren Islands count as cover. Phew. 
Anyways, the Siren Egg has a random chance to spawn with the Siren Island. You can easily tell if it's there or not by looking to see if there's an egg floating in the middle of the island. In this case, there isn't, so there is no Siren Egg on this island. The Siren Egg spawns with the island. You don't have to kill the Sirens for it to spawn. That's good to know in case you don't want to fight the Sirens. I know some people find the Sirens very annoying, but me? I want to get romantical with the Sirens. Come kiss me on my hot mouth. Atlantean ships can also spawn when you're in the Insanity 1 range of the Dark Sea. You can sink them for a chance to get the Sea Shard Egg, but I wouldn't recommend this as there's probably 3 billion White Eyes waiting for you to jump in the water to come kill and snatch you. This catch just instant transmissioned in like goddamn Goku. A general rule of thumb is Atlantean catches are easy to deal with and ignore, but Atlantean brigs will whoop your ass with their aimbot mortar aim. And for some reason, this Atlantean brig decided to jump scare me. It hit me with the I'm not here, now I'm here, two piece combo. When the hell did they add the goddamn weeping angels to the dark sea, bruh? Now, like I said, these brigs are lethal, so a good tip is to aggro the driver and sail the f away. Doing this leaves the brig unattended as no Atlantean is driving it, meaning you now only got to worry about the Atlanteans chasing you, but that's preferable over getting ass wiped by the brig's mortars. After sailing away, I then heard this beautiful singing, so I just had to check it out. I was attracted to it like pie on a windowsill. I climbed the island and then I saw this ugly looking egg. What is that? What is that? And that really pissed me off so I had to go sicko mode on these beautiful ladies. I don't know what was up with these sirens, they must have went ultra instinct cause they began dodging all of my attacks like their damn Neo from the Matrix. Also this siren egg is just ugly. Once you get the Siren Egg, there's no point in being in the Insanity 1 range of the Dark Sea, so just head back to the Insanity 0 range of the Dark Sea to get whatever eggs you have left. Another Atlantean brig decided to just materialize from thin air, but luckily it was right next to an island and I could hit them with the good old ding dong ditch strategy and attack them whilst they chased me. This one Atlantean was chasing me like his life depended on it. So goofy. Whilst fighting them, I then got water poisoned, so I had to skedaddle to a hole in the wall. I got rid of the water poisoning, and then I got rid of these newbie Atlanteans. I then found out this island was half Insanity 1 and half Insanity 0. I also found out this island was huge and decided to skedaddle back to the ship as I couldn't be bothered to loot an island this big. Once you find a ghost ship, just follow it to where it leads you, but most of the time the ghost ship will be bugged and lead you nowhere as it just doesn't move. If this happens, just become one with the ghost ship and point your ship exactly where the ghost ship is pointing and place yourself exactly where the ghost ship is placed. Then sail in that direction until you find the phantom egg. Pick it up and pick up the cargo it's placed on top of to repair your ship. Once you get all the Dark Sea Eggs, or at least most of them and have a good amount of Dark Seal Chests, you can head out of the Dark Sea to a shipwright. Just hand in all of your Dark Seal Chests until you get the Expedition Egg, and if you've managed to get every previous egg up until this point, you'll have completed the event. The event rewards are the staff which is purely cosmetic and an easter egg ship ornament. The staff looks cool with the egg on it looking exactly the same as the godly egg. The ship ornament looks cool I guess. Also you can wear multiple easter eggs as vanity so you can make cool combos like the flare egg and godly egg. Don't worry if you don't have all the eggs at this point. Many of the eggs are RNG dependent and you might not get as lucky as me. You can always just easily get any eggs you're missing. If you're ever struggling to find an egg, you can always use a revealing potion. Easter eggs are highlighted blue. Alright, that's all for this video. Make sure you subscribe now or I'll chase after you like that Atlantean that was chasing me. Also like the video pretty please. Have a wonderful rest of your day, my fellow magma munchers. With a new.